Hey everyone, so today's tutorial will be on how to hatch emu eggs. And so I get a lot of questions um, on which incubators to use. And so I always recommend the Hubbabator or the Styrofoam ones because they're cost efficient. They're only 40 or 50 bucks at your local feed store. Um, but if you're not on a budget, you can always use the Sportsman um, because I have had better hatch rates, nothing significant and maybe not worth $600. Um, but those are your two options. Um, so when you do get your um, emu eggs, you want to label them um, an O and an X. And then if you got more than one, I would suggest um, numbering them as well. So on the O side, I just put a one in the corner. And the reason for that is, unlike chicken eggs, you have to weigh emu eggs every week um, to make sure that they're losing enough uh, egg weight. And so the first thing you want to do when you get them, even before putting the X and the O's on, is take a food scale, put it to grams, and then you want to weigh them on there. And so, for instance, this egg, egg number one, weighs 600 grams. Um, you want them to lose about 15% of the egg weight um, by the end of the um, incubation period. So, 15% of 600, hmm, I think it's 90 grams. So if you wanted to lose 90 grams within maybe a seven week period, then it would need to lose about 12.6 grams per week. So by the end of each week, I like to write in my log how much each egg lost. Um, and that gives me an idea if I have to raise or drop the humidity levels in the incubator. Um, so with emu eggs, it's always tricky too because there's no set temperature that people use in regards to a specific one like chickens is 99.5. For emus, some people swear by 95.5, some people swear by 96 or 97.5. I personally use 97.5 and I've gotten good hatch rates. Um, the thing to remember is that the incubation period can range also for emu eggs. It can range from 49 to 58 days depending on what the temperature is or how long it takes to develop. So if, if you're using a higher temperature in the incubator like 97.5, it'll always take less days for the emu egg to actually hatch. So for Rex, he was incubated at 97.5 and he hatched in 53 or 54 days. So that's pretty average for that temperature. Um, so another question I get asked is how to tell if the egg is developing because there is no flashlight that I've personally found that can penetrate an emu egg. I can't even get it for my Marin's eggs. So. Um, it's definitely difficult to candle an emu egg, if not impossible. So what I do, there's a few methods you can do, and it's nothing right away. You have to wait until about day 33 to, to 40 to actually see if it's developing. Um, so around day 33, you can take the um, egg out of the incubator, and you can start to whistle to it, like I did to Rex. And some, it works sometimes because most of the time they're sleeping at that stage of development. Um, so sometimes they'll wiggle. So you can do that maybe a couple of times a week to check if you know the eggs are wiggling or if, um, or if they're developing properly. Uh, another thing I like to do is the cool test. And you can just put the egg on the counter for three to five minutes to let it adjust to room temp. And if the emu is actually developing in the egg, um, it'll gravitate towards one end of the egg um, and it'll make that end warm. So you can actually feel it and see if it's warm or not. And um, you can feel the first side, maybe with the um, underside of your hand, and if it's cold, you can try the other side. And if it's developing, it most likely will be warm. Um, if both ends are cold, that most likely means that your egg isn't developing, or it's infertile, or it stopped. Um, another test that um, I haven't tried, but I heard is the the tap test. And like it, around day 39 to day 40, you you can take uh, a spade point drill bit and tap the end of the egg and you can do that each week and as the egg starts to develop it'll the thump will become um, more like fine china a uh, higher pitch almost and so I don't really have too much experience with that but I have experience with the other two ways and they have worked and around the time of the hatch maybe day 48 day 49 you can start to whistle to them and they should whistle back to you um, at that point at least wiggle um, and so another question I get asked is when do I stop rotating the egg if the incubation period ranges so much? And so if you know you're incubating at a higher temperature like 97.5,
you can expect that the egg is going to hatch 49 to 53 or 54 days. And so stop rotating at day 49. If you're doing a, um, a lower temperature and you expect a longer incubation period, then maybe stop rotating at day 51, 52. There's no set, there's no set day. And so these four right now, I have one, two, three, and four, and these are all just regular, um, these are all just regular emus. There's no blondes, there's no whites in here. Um, but I did just order four blonde um, emu eggs. So I'm expecting them next week. So hopefully I get a good hatch. Um, and so I weighed all of these eggs and they all weigh between 550 and 665 grams. And so I'm gonna log them every week. And one thing I forgot to mention is that the relative humidity in the incubator should be between 25 to 35. Again, depending on how much uh, weight the egg is losing. I like to keep it at 30 initially and then kind of fine tune it um, you know, uh, the coming weeks. And so this video was short, but um, as the weeks go on, I'm going to keep updating with more videos of how they're developing and, um, and finally the hatch. And I'll do a how-to video for anyone who doesn't have experience with raising them before. So for this hatch, um, I'm just going to be using the uh, Sportsman. And then for the other four eggs I'm getting, I'll be using the uh, hover baiter. I don't think there's enough room in the hover baiter for eight eggs, so because there's actually some baby quail hatching. There we go. So I will definitely keep you guys updated on these four eggs and then the other four as well.